Hi there, Adam here. This month's XDA Developers TV is brought to you by the Samsung Smart App Challenge 2012. Enter for your chance to win your piece of over $4 million in cash prizes by clicking the banner at the top of xdadevelopers.com or by visiting developer.samsung.com. I'd like to take a minute to share with you a clip from my latest music video. It's called It's Wednesday, June 27th, and today is the day I.O. starts. And if you didn't like that music video, we have a complaint department too. It's located on every single Linux computer. You can simply redirect your complaints to slash dev slash null not too long ago we featured an introduction to the Linux terminal by Jordan Keys now today we're gonna to build upon that a little bit more you see one of the things that people don't understand is that Linux is about the most powerful thing in modern computing so today we're going to focus on output redirection and pipes you see, the Linux shell excels at textual manipulation and file operation. If you think about it, just about every administrative task deals with those two things. So, let's get started. We're going to start with the echo command. Echo XDA developers will send a message to the standard output. Now, there's three different things. Standard in, standard out, and standard error. Uh, the standard input is what goes into the command. The standard output is what comes out of the command, and the standard error is the same thing as standard output, but it's not ported into the next command. Now, we'll talk about that in a little bit. It's also not redirected to files. So let's redirect XDA developers to a file called text.text. .text. And we can prove that it worked by catting that file again. cat.text.text. .text. All right, so the angle bracket here, what it did was it actually created a new file called text.text .text and echoed the output of the echo command into the text.text .text file. Now, if we wanted to append text to a file, we'd use the double angle bracket. So we'll echo XDA Developers TV and put that, append that into the text.text .text file. And as you can see it's done that now if we go on back through again and just do that it will overwrite the whole file and all we'll have is the word XDA developers in the file so we have now rewritten our file again and there we go now one of the things that a lot of people notice and sometimes it's not desirable is that the echo command will actually put a new line at the end of every statement so now if we don't want to put the new line there we can say echo dash n xda and we can do another echo command minus the dash n this time because we want to make a new line at the end of this statement developers and let's cat that file there we go now you notice that anything after the echo command is not redirected into the file now if you want to put a space in there we can do slash space slash space and then we'll put in developers so now that we've redirected output to a file let's talk about redirecting standard out to another command and what we're going to want to do is cat that file that we created in text.text .text. all right so now we will use this Linux stream editor said and we will search well we got to put this in quotations search slash TV slash is cool slash and what this will do is it uses the stream editor to search for the word TV and replace it with is cool and as you can see we replaced XDA developers TV with XDA developers is cool so now of course that also works with just simply deleting things and what we can do is we can set s slash XDA slash slash and every instance of XDA has been removed. Let's go ahead and define a variable now. Let's do x equals device. 
And now let's verify that X has been written. And what this does is it will echo whatever the contents of dollar sign X is. And dollar sign X was defined right here. The dollar sign says we're using the variable. Without the dollar sign, it says we're defining the variable. And of course, what we can do is we can also redirect that to our text.txt .text file. All right, so now we want to get rid of some of this junk that's on the screen. Let's hit clear. And let's define a variable, x equals. And this time, we want to make x equal the contents of a file. So let's do the alternate slash. This is the, the alternate quote. This is the one in the upper right hand corner of your keyboard and we'll type cat dot slash text dot text and we'll hit enter and then we can echo x and as you can see all the text has been put into the variable x. And let's clear that one more time. The techniques I'm about to show you can cause serious damage to your device. Don't just go blindly typing them into your device. So what we're going to do is we're going to show a real world application. Now what I've done is I've hooked up my Samsung Captivate and we're going to spoof this Samsung Captivate to make it think that it is a Galaxy S3 instead of a Galaxy S1 device. The way we're going to do that is we will start with an ADB remount and then we will do an ADB shell and now we're into the device running the Linux terminal inside the device on the shell. So next we will cd slash system and we can cat the build.prop file. Now the build.prop file contains all the information about your device. As you can see here this device thinks it's a SGHI897 because this value right here tells it that it is an 897. So what we're going to do is we will cat that value, uh, cat the build.prop, pass it into our stream editor, said, and we will do a search for SGHI897, and we will replace that with SGHI9300. And if all worked correctly, it is displaying SGHI9300. So next, we will put this into a temporary file build.pro and we will cat our build.prop into a build.back file so that way we have a backup of the original and now we can move our build pro file over the top of our build.prop file now if we cat the build.prop we can see that it now thinks it's 99300. However, changes will not take effect until after reboot. Now again, this is a risky procedure and it should only be used for testing purposes. So that's all for this episode. Don't forget to add me to your circles on Google+. Plus. You can visit plus.adamoutler.com and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Until next time, hack on! <laughs>